Welcome to uh, another video here on the channel. Uh, I'm sat here talking about creepy caves after dark again. Uh, so straight off the bat, uh, creepy caves after dark I experienced back in 2019. And back then I regarded it as one of the most intense uh, experiences I've ever done. And ever since then I've never experienced anything on that level of intensity until last night when I experienced creepy caves after dark or should I say creepy caves elimination after dark um, so there will be spoilers in this video so if you don't want to know what happens in after dark then uh, don't watch this video um, however it could slightly change uh, uh, your experience so to start off, so the so you're batched into a group, um, and for the run through I had, we were in a group of four, so there was a very small group, uh, which made it even worse. Um, yeah, we you started off up in the tent at the top because obviously they are following the old 2019 route this year, so you start off at the tent up the top. Uh, we were waiting up in the tent for probably a good six or seven minutes. Um, so that was quite fun. And then when the experience actually started, two secret agents came up um, and basically told us to, well, they big, uh, beckoned us to come down the stairs. So we came down the stairs where there was an actor at the bottom of the stairs where we got jump scared. Uh, and we basically got sent into the lab room, which the lab, uh, if you haven't done the normal group case elimination this year, basically the plant has engulfed the whole of the cave. So there's a lot more of the plant. Uh, there's like vines hanging down on the roof and everything. Uh, so you've got that. And we, we were in the lab room and we got the same story as before about how um, the daughter of Dr. Burke basically wants to destroy the plant uh, once and for all. And then we have to find the room of explosives to blow the place up. And then we were led towards the door to go into the actual caves. Uh, there were some ju good jump scares in the lab scene, uh, like kicking barrels and stuff. Uh, so that was quite fun. Uh, the actual set in there, apart from like, the vines on the roof, it's basically the same as when it was the surgeons. So it's still destroyed. And then we headed into where the first corner of the cave was, and we got pushed through that door. The door was shut behind us. The agents are still stood behind us at this point, by the way. Uh, the agents are still stood behind us. And then all of the actors who are wearing the resurgence like, hoodies with plant vines on them, um, basically all stand in front of us and start grabbing our faces, making noises. And we're basically like, we had our arms held behind our backs and we were held there uh which was just nuts uh from the beginning and then someone shouted release the specimen all the actors went running and we got pushed straight through uh i then got pinned up against the wall uh people got put to the floor it was like just like in general this experience just going through the rest of the maze some of the stuff that was happening to us in there was just next next level um i'm actually having to drink water to do this review because it's like oh my god so yeah continued going through um in my from my experience i got cornered several times um you know i got my hair pulled i had i, I was grabbed by the neck i was pinned up against walls several times um anyone who knows like the tiny little crawl section uh, in Creepy Caves After Dark in 2019, I got sent through that crawl section several times. This time I didn't get sent through it several times, uh, but I did, uh, when I came out of there, get put to the floor by three actors and was sat on by three actors, one of them screaming in my face. So that was quite fun. Uh, one of them kept sneezing on me as well, which was, oh, it was horrible. Um, so it was nuts. Uh, and then throughout the rest of the maze, uh, we, you know, 
There was people screaming in my ear. I was pinned up against the door. Um, and then when you get to the UV room, this is where it just got, oh my God. Uh, UV room, I got sent through a couple of times. I kept getting sent through. I kept getting like, picked up and held. Um, it was just, oh my, you're going to hear me say, oh my God, so many times because that's just the, what was going on. I was getting screamed at. I was getting my hair pulled. I was being dragged. Uh, and then uh, I hadn't even got to the finale room and I was basically uh, picked up over someone's shoulder and carried out the maze. Um, and I had smoke blown up in my face. So, and yeah, <laughs> that was creepy case. After dark, it was like, it felt faster than 2019. At the same time, it was more intense. Um, and like, I highly, I said this back in 2019. I said this back in 2019 that, yes, Creepy Case of the Dark is suitable for first 13 plus, allegedly. Back in 2019, I said it shouldn't be. It should be at least 15, maybe 18. This year, the experience I had in there was just straight up should have been 18 plus like it was just next level um obviously back in 2019 it was 10 pound per person it was at it's now actually 15 plus um uh, sorry 15 pounds sorry uh for a ticket was it worth 15 pounds yeah <laughs> uh so one of the things i want to mention is i would say go buy your tickets for creepy case after dark but it's uh sold out it is sold out. However, it did not seem sold out. It seems like there was a lot of no show to it. Right. Like, this is the thing, it's, it says it's sold out on the website, but I feel like a lot of people, because they have to sign a waiver, I think a lot of people see it and go like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. So, yeah, apparently there were tickets uh, for After Dark available that morning, but uh, it seems like they got brought last minute. But yeah, honestly, Creepy Caves After Dark, if you have got a ticket for it this year, you are gonna absolutely shit yourself in this experience. Like it is something. The experience I had in there this year was even better than the 2019 experience. And it's sending creepy caves out so well. And it's a moment that I'm gonna cherish for a while. <laughs> Um, I did also do Viral Villages After Dark, but that's going to be a separate review video uh, because this one is Creepy Caves After Dark. Um, so yeah, thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button um, because uh, it's uh, it's it means a lot. <laughs> and obviously, I'm probably going to have to get therapy after experiencing creepy goes after dark uh this year but yes thank you very much for watching guys like comment and subscribe stay tuned for more halloween content including my reviews of the daytime creepy case elimination as well as daytime review of vile villagers and of course vile villagers after dark coming soon thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video